What's good, everyone? I'm Brian Sampson from Dunking with Wolves, coming at you with the staple of the Minnesota Timberwolves offense. Today, I'm going to break down a play of dubbed L Corner 3. Without further ado, let's dive in. For starters, Minnesota only runs this play for Carl Anthony Towns, and it typically nets him a wide open 3 in the right corner, which is the reason Corner 3 is in the name. Go figure. They are also smart about when they call it, using it very sparingly. Overall, the structure and design of the play is very simple, but beautiful at the same time. Let's take a look at how the Timberwolves run this play to perfection. This is one of Tom Thibodeau's favorite play calls after timeouts, so that's when you should be on the lookout for it. After inbounding the ball, Towns jogs up the floor, slightly ahead of the point guard, who's bringing the ball up the floor. The other three players are already in position in the two corners and one on the low block. As Towns begins jogging down to the left block, Taj Gibson will evacuate that position and slide over to the right side before preparing to come up the floor vertically. Do you see here how Towns begins his cut right next to Tyus Jones' defender? That's completely intentional as it tricks the defense into thinking he might be setting a high ball screen. Towns' defender then slightly adjusts his position, thinking Tyus will come off a ball screen in that direction. That slight adjustment costs him valuable positioning, and Towns is going to run down the left lane before speeding up and looping to the corner. As Towns is running through his cut, there are a few things going on at the same time to engage the defense. On the weak side corner, Jimmy Butler is stretching the floor and forcing the defense to guard the width of the court by spotting up. In the opposite corner, Wiggins is beginning to walk his man down, opening up that space for Towns eventually, and setting himself up to screen Towns' man. On the ball is perhaps the most important action. Gibson is preparing to set a ball screen for Tyus, making the defense think that's what the whole play is about. But that's all just fake action to deke the D. As the play develops, Towns' man falls way behind and out of position, which will eventually open up space beautifully for an open attempt from Towns in the corner. So back to the ball, Gibson is now setting a screen for Tyus Jones, who's using his dribble to get into a good position to hit Towns in the corner, where Wiggins is adjusting his screen to pick off Towns' trailing defender. Towns is also finishing his cut, where he got a little too round with his movements. He performed what's called the banana cut, which is a big no-no in basketball. Ideally, his cut would have been made like an L, and would have had nice, tight changes of directions and speed. While all that's happening, Butler is still keeping his man occupied on the weak side, simply by being a G. But back to the ball, Tyus does a great job anticipating Towns being open, and throws his pass well before Towns get to his spot. It's also right on the money, and right in his shooting pocket. Absolutely perfect. The play is also designed to put the Timberwolves in good rebounding position, should Towns miss like he does here. Wiggins is already around the low block in case of a brick, and Gibson is crashing after the ball screen to try to get the board should the shot be long. Minnesota typically whips this play out in times of need, being very careful not to overuse it and give teams advanced preparation that it's coming. Here's another look at the play. This time it happened in Minnesota's recent game against Boston, where they were starting to fall behind in the fourth quarter. The players and positions are a bit different than the last example, but the premise is the exact same. It comes after a timeout, and Towns is coming up the floor after inbounding the ball. Jang comes up to set the ball screen, and Towns is running down the lane to set up his L cut. Towns' defender never expects this play until it's way too late, and the big man drains the corner three. Yuck yuck! This play does a great job of highlighting Towns' unicorn abilities as you don't see very many big men at all getting set plays, calling for them to knock down threes on the move. Well, I appreciate you guys tuning into this episode. Stay tuned for more Timberwolves analysis as the season progresses towards the playoffs!